Strong storms and tornadoes leave trails of destruction throughout the Miami Valley. Thanks for joining us at 4 and Ashley Kirkland. And good afternoon to you. I'm Sharif. It really just shows how lucky we got. Five tornadoes just to our north. Neighborhoods along the I-70 corridor east of Dayton saw some of the most damage. And WLWT News Lives Karen Johnson spent the day in Clark County for us. She joins us live now to show us what some families are dealing with tonight. Hi, Karen. Yeah, hey, Sheree, not only is there a lot of cleanup, but uh, families don't even have houses uh, to live in. And I just want to take a live picture right now. Governor Mike DeWine just showed up here at the scene. We are in Springfield Township in Clark County. He is out uh, with members of his staff. He's actually uh, going door to door to talking uh, to some homeowners. He's really getting a firsthand look at the damage uh, himself. Again, this was just confirmed here in Clark County, just outside the city of Spring uh, Spring field that uh, EF2 tornado came by this morning. Now, let's take a look. This is a home in Clark County. Again, Springfield Township that used to be a tri level house. The walls and roof were blown off. Kitchen appliances toppled over. Neighbors tell me three family members were trapped in the basement. They were rescued, taken to the hospital and treated for minor injuries. Uh, the storm caused extensive damage to all nine houses on this block. Uh, the street just littered with broken power poles also. Several blocks away, more homes were destroyed, including Matthew McCutcheon's. He was inside with his parents this morning when his house blew apart around him. It's too loud outside as far as thunder and lightning. And then, uh, like I said, I heard the, the rumbling that I've never heard before. And once that started, it just gained an in intensity. And uh, within 15, 20 seconds, it was, you could smell the dirt. And uh, now you're just uh, looking live at just one tree that has sheet metal wrapped around it. And this is pretty much what it looks like block after block after block. You can see just the the entire grass area here littered with, uh, you know, two by fours. You can see how powerful they are in the ground. It's like projectiles from the wind just now it's sticking up in the ground. And this is pretty much what we have seen all over this neighborhood this afternoon. Reporting live in Clark County, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.